This is KRT, Critical Race Theory. It's not the one they teach in law school, but the one banned in public schools. Here's some information that might be new to you. Donald Trump isn't the inaugural president to face arrest. Despite many of the elements of Trump's indictment being unprecedented in U.S. history, his arrest isn't the first one by a former or a sitting president. And coincidentally, it was another black person who apprehended the only other president to be arrested. In 1872, President Ulysses S. Grant was apprehended by William H. West. He was a young former slave and Civil War veteran who joined the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police Department a year earlier. Here's how it happened. West came across Grant while on patrol near 13th and M Streets Northwest in Washington, D.C. He stopped the president for speeding in his horse and buggy and gave him a warning for excessive speed. The next day, West saw the president repeating his behavior and arrested him. While arresting Grant, West, one of only two black police officers in the MPD at the end of the Civil War, said, quote, I am very sorry, Mr. President, to have to do it, for you are the chief of the nation and I am nothing but a policeman. But duty is duty, sir and I will have to place you under arrest. Records indicate that Grant told West to uphold his duties as a police officer, and he complied with the arrest. President Grant was taken to the police station and released on $20 bond. There, he did not contest the fine or the arrest. This was not Grant's first citation for speeding in the District of Columbia. According to former Chief Kathy Lanier, Ulysses S. Grant received three citations for speeding in his horse-drawn carriage during his tenure as president. Much like Atlanta District Attorney Fonnie Willis, West made it a point to show the president that no one is above the law, but Grant himself said he knew the penalties of his actions and that he deserved to be arrested. As for Trump, even in the face of unsurmountable evidence, he has concluded that he should not face the legal system for his miscarriages of the law. Still, Willis has been steadfast in her commitment to upholding the law, even as when it means indicting the man who once held the highest office in the land. Well, as they say, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. This has been Critical Race Theory. Thanks for checking in. Please like and subscribe. Leave a super thanks or buy me a coffee. And we'll see you next time.